tell me when I'm on. Um, I'm on? Yep. Okay, well, it looks like Chris mm -hmm. is here. So Hi, far. everybody. It's our special speaker today. Let's see if you can name that voice. <laughs> Actually, we, I don't know, she leave? No, she's right over there. I'm over here. Oh, we got, I got both my girls with me today. I have, I have Lauren and I have Javi, and the reason why I took over today was because <clears throat> Lauren needed a little bit more time to develop some ideas that she had. And plus, we had a lot of stuff coming back in that I wanted you to be aware of. And not only that, but we just got done with a challenge, didn't we? 80s. And, <clears throat> right. And since these are at YouTube now, there are a lot of people who watch, and maybe they're not with us in the live, but they come along later. And they need to learn about Bisa Boutique's creative group. Hi, Dara. Hey, Dara's there. And Andrea. Andrea. <clears throat> so we need to tell them. You know, we need to tell them what they're missing because there's a lot of fun stuff coming up, baby. And we want them to get excited about it, too. Because here's the thing. With Bisou Boutique's creative group, now it's at Facebook. So if you hate Facebook, you might have to just hold your nose and join it anyway so you can be in the group. But who's that mean moon goddess treasures? Okay. Hi. How you doing? So the group is, you don't have to hold your nose for that because it's great. Everybody treats everybody with... Just love and grace and graciousness, and we have so much fun. And you guys, we just did an 80s jewelry design challenge, and it was awesome. I couldn't believe how different the looks were. Everybody really dug in deep into their bag of tricks and came up with a lot of new stuff. Really great. So we had so much fun with the 80s. Hi, Chris. Hey, Chris. So we had so much, so much fun with the 80s. What we're going to do is we are going to move forward. Give it a couple of weeks for everybody to jump on board and get around, their head around it. And we're going to do the 60s. Hey, Colleen. So, hey. 60s. So we're going to do the 60s next. And that is going to be so much fun because a lot of us ladies were growing up and coming of age in the 60s. And we don't have to look stuff up we remember <laughs> so and we probably we were all living in the 80s too but you know as you go down the trail of life nothing Hi, is, nothing is hey denise nothing is as fresh to you as when you were there when you were young those you know your younger memories most for most people are the most vivid and that's why the 60s are going to be so fun and it was an era of complete change i mean Everything up to the 50s just got turned sideways and over and tumbled over and put in a blender upside down and whatever came out was the 60s. That's how it changed so big time. So we're going to do 60s next. But before I get into that too much, I want to show you what I made for the 80s jewelry challenge. Beans, you made hey, it! Hey, there's beans. So this is what I made. But where's Debbie? No, she, she'll be gone. here. She'll be here. She's always the first one. She'll on. be here. Okay, this was what I made. I made a three piece. I made this bracelet. I put it on this top of this thing, but I don't know. Maybe it's better if I don't. <laughs> I had it on my side table that way. And I'm being so careful with it because I sold it already. And my friend who bought it said it was okay to use it in a couple of videos before I sent it to her. So I'm so happy for that. Yes, anyway. so guys, sneak peek here. This so is... this is what I did for the 80s, and it's like Madonna jewelry. You know? And she's going to show this Friday. Yeah, what I'm, there are two videos here. I'm going to take a lot of pictures of this. Um, the video that I'm going to do on Friday is I'm going to show you how to make a, a strand, a bracelet out of several strands. Very showy bracelet out of several strands of chain. And... Uh, I had one sort of kind of like that about five years ago, but this is going to be different because it was on necklace bars. This is going to be totally just chain. Because if you look at this, it's just, you know, on jumps. Well, your other one was convertible too, right? This no, one? no. The one I did years ago that I'm thinking of, it was on bracelet oh, bars. Oh, okay. So this no bracelet bars. It's just all linked up together. And really, it's so much easier too this way. But you have so much freedom because you can make your heavy layer at the bottom and then your lighter layers at the top. So that's what our video is going to be about on Friday. So well, these pearls would even probably be good for 60s, right? Because the 
mod. Well, they were made right? then. So there, when you see mod mod culture, and that's, that's what I call them, like, that's sixties means mod acrylic. I know acrylic something. Thing. Yeah, mod acrylic. <laughs> so that's they were made in the sixties in Japan. Hi, okay. Jan. So anyway, when you buy these pearls on our website, and we have lots of them, we now, just got the, the and I have more, and I have more coming. I have a lot more coming. Then uh, you stack up on those guys. They only cost like for us like four and a half five ounces. I can't remember, and you get it for seven ninety five. This is really good old Japanese. I kid you not. If you don't understand, the only difference between Japanese glass cultura and this stuff is that this has a plastic base, and actually it's easier to wear because it's lighter. If this was all glass, it'd be super heavy, and super expensive, but it's the same topping, the same coloration, the same type of coat, same type of coating, is on the Mod Cultura, which is M O D is Mod Acrylic, which means it's plastic, but it's not bad plastic. You know, it's good plastic. So anyway, so I made this long tassel necklace too. So this is gonna be one video. It's gonna be a Friday, and then Debbie Nicolaus made me. Well, she's in this finally summer. here. Yes, she beat you. Oh, is Debbie here? Yes, she I didn't finally see, made I didn't it. see her. Right here, and Beans beat her. Oh, Debbie. Okay, Debbie made First me. First time ever. Debbie said yesterday when I showed this, she said, I want to know how to make that tassel. And I'm like, well, i got to be honest with you. I kind of wung it, winged it. Um, I knew what I wanted, but I had to mess with it a lot to get oh, it to look like this. Colleen so. says they are fabulous. They are. And yep. Dara thinks... There, yeah. she's a dick. Dara, Dara's got a real stash of them. Let me tell they you. go really nice with she's our. She's got a deep stash. With our button locks, right? Too. But the, yes, but the thing is about them, pearls are always in style. These are wonderful. They're vintage, and when the mother load runs out, you're going to be balling if you didn't get any. Let's put them away. I know but I will. I think these would be gorgeous with our um, mother of pearl buttons that we got. Yeah, in. some of those I, lots are I, really yeah. pretty. I like. Me, I'm a big crystal gold yes. and pearl person, you know. And in the 80s, that was hot, 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 big bold gold jewelry. 60s too, though. Very Madonna. So it never goes out of style, honestly. No. But um, this thing comes off if you just want to wear this for a lanyard, too. But anyway, for Debbie, I'm going to try in the next week or two, not this weekend, but maybe the following. We're going to do this tassel together. I'm going to look at it really good, take a lot of pictures of it before I send, send it to um, my friend who purchased it. And so that I'll be able to work this out really good and not be on here for like two hours trying to show you how I'm making mistakes the whole way. I also so, love the piece that you used on both of them. The, the rhinestone. This, yeah. Lobster. And we have, uh, we have a lot of these in stock. And people, you know, that's it. Lawrence says to me, I don't want to show because we didn't have a lot of really interesting, cool new stuff come in this week, which I beg to differ, and I'll correct her later. But <laughs> no, because there are things you might not know about. But anyway, I says, but we have this huge website full of crazy good stuff. Some of you already have it, I know, but not everybody does, and our YouTube friends don't maybe know about it because I have people ask me almost every video, every live one I do, do you sell this stuff? And until recently, I never wanted to sell hard on on YouTube because a lot of people didn't like it. But uh, I see everybody else's brother is doing it, so I'm going to do it. But I'm going to do it gently. I'm going to teach you something at the same time. And then what you do with it is up to you. You can use my stuff or yours, whatever. But let me tell you, you're going to want some of my stuff because I have good stuff. And it's not killer expensive either. But anyway, we have a lot of these um, big fat... Long it's a stress. statement piece by itself. Yeah, see, I have it on here. Yeah, it is. I've used that piece in so many pieces of jewelry that I've made for myself. Because mm -hmm. I love this. So go on over there and find it. I think it's in the lobster class section. That's where it all is. Yeah, it's be. in the class. And, and you'll find it there. We used to have it in silver, too. I don't know if we ran out of them. But anyway, while we have them, get them. Um, I don't know if I can get more of them or not. And I, they're double-sided. Aren't yes, they? they are. They're double sided. So they're a great value. Look at that. Both sides. Blingy. Blingy on both sides. So it doesn't right. matter if it turns over. And for a class, putting this on your wrist, I mean, this is just, this is crazy good. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like. Even like a purse pull. Seriously. You want like a fancy purse right. pull? When I think, yes. When I and think great of, of gold and pearls like this, I think of Chanel, honestly. I do. 
because mm -hmm. there's a lot of that. In but Chanel. like, if you need a quick gift for someone and you want right. to give them like a little purse pull or a keychain yeah, or something, could, the, use this that. Would, this and would be crazy good. They'll think but you anyway, spent Okay, some good so money. I need to put this aside and move on because we have goobers of stuff to tell you about. And Lauren usually only takes up about a half hour of time, so I don't want to be on here forever more. So Sarah says she needs Thank you, my queen. <laughs> Thank you. She says it, Debbie. Sometime we got to get together and throw a few back. What do you say? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you Lauren's now because this is runway jewelry, kids. I don't think she <laughs> I knew. don't know about that. I don't think, no, you don't maybe know what runway jewelry is. <laughs> okay. You haven't been around, well, you've been around here about 13 years. You may yeah. not know about But anyway, this is Lauren's. You yes, know, you're right, Bees. I got to take this off of here, Lauren, because okay. I can't show them with the tape to this thing. Okay, that's yours. All right. All right, this is Lauren's runway jewelry, and this this could totally be 60s. Oh, 60s, okay. But, you know, runway jewelry can be anything, so yeah, 80s too. But she took these necklace connectors. They're Victorian period type styling. She took them, and she resined with this blue stuff in between and then put some black so that it looks like turquoise. I hand painted all those. Yeah, and you know with acrylic paint, and then yeah, I just you took, got that right piece. And then I took resin and yeah. just did very really carefully, yeah. just put a little. And I didn't thin want her. To, I didn't want to show her how. I didn't want her to show you how to do it today for two reasons. First of all, we've had a lot of resin lately. Yeah. And I think it's time to do something else for a little bit, a little bit. But also, I don't have any of these. And being honest, you know, I'm always looking out for you. If you guys made this and you used this part. This is silverware, silver plate. That's our premier line. You get some money into it. So you might want to try it with raw or brass socks. But we don't have a lot of them right now. So anyway, I wanted to show this because I was so proud of her. She used a paper clip chain on it. She did all this work herself. It looks like it was done by... Thank you, Colleen. You know, commercial factory It took. People. It took some time. To yeah. hand paint. <laughs> yeah. but, but this is amazing. But it was fun. I had fun. This is amazing, so I'm really proud of that. Thank you. Okay, so you need to put that back on your thing. All right, there's her. So now a few other examples of Bisu A's jewelry, and this is the real deal, okay? Because Thank you, Beans. I began to make Thanks, jewelry Debbie. and sell it in the 80s. So here we go, friendly plastic. I just found these. I didn't realize I had them. Okay, it looks like I sold them for eight bucks, but these didn't sell. <laughs> Wonder what. Anyways, but yeah, this is what I used to do with friendly plastic. Bean says she's coming too, and she has wine. Okay, all right. <laughs> you just come. Everybody come. Jordan makes really good margaritas. Yeah, well, we're going to talk about jewelry now. Okay, <laughs> that was just a quick point. Okay, so this is all like glitter on paper in the middle and all kind of folded friendly plastic and a bead at the bottom. That is so easy. I sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of earrings like this. This and the lady face brooches. Big deal in the 80s. I made tons of, and early 90s too, made lots and lots of them until people just got sick of friendly plastic. And then I had to move on. But anyway, so I'm going to move on from that. This is this is vintage, and this is so, I suppose it's say, say Japan. No, Thanks, Jan. Make it anyway, this is so unbelievably hippies. Yeah, that's definitely 60s. 60s. I saw this somewhere in a flower bar. power. I think I found it in Goodwill or something. And I looked at that thing and I said, Really? You know, yeah. I, says, I looked at that and I'm like, that has got to be about the ugliest piece of jewelry I ever saw. I mean, I love the colors, but it's just so, ugh, you know. But then the more I looked at it, I'm like, no. I like it. No, it's not. It's great. It's on a black so blazer? 60. And you know what? This is handmade. I'd wear that on a, on a, like a plain black yeah. blazer. I don't even, it's just some kind top. of paper mache over top of plastic. And this is seed beads on here. I would it could have been made in India, maybe. Because made in India was big in the 60s, but it's definitely India hot colors. You know how I wear it? I wear it in my hair because I love big flowers well, in my hair. Well, this one is probably a little heavy for yeah. that, but... <laughs> Yeah, this is totally definitive. So I was going through my vintage stuff real fast. What do I have to show them 60s? And the pieces that I collected went because I was a young teenager then, and I couldn't find them fast, but I know they're around here somewhere. But this is 60s. Did they do hair pieces in the 60s? Because we have hair pieces, yeah, like hair yeah, combs and yes, stuff. Yes, they did tons of hair pieces. I might gym. have to do a hair piece well, for this coming challenge. We'll, we'll see. Anyways, let's move on. So this is 60s. These are 60s. You guys remember these? 
these bangles that all went together. These are Hi, Ginger. These are sixties. I found these in a warehouse a few years ago. I think I gave them away for a while. And I made the I, I made these. I, I had them. But these days were popular. I remember them in like Grants and Woolworths and like that, you know, Kreskies. Remember Kreskies? And then these are also sixties. They're sixties uh like a lucite type plastic. They are not bakelite. See hear that? That is not the sound of Bakelite. This is Bakelite, it'd be like funk, funk, funk. This is like ringy, tingy, tingy, I'm plastic. Hard plastic stuff. Yeah, cool, and plus there's seam lines on it, so that's another reason you know it's not Bakelite. But these are cute, and, and uh, I bought them somewhere, you know, back when I was picking. But like yeah, the they're cute. One. These are totally 60s. And then this I found somewhere as a bargain. At first I bought I got excited. I thought, oh, like gumdrops, Bakelite, maybe. I don't know, but it didn't feel right. It's a little heavier. You hear that? See this and that together? Ting, ting, ting. Then you hear this. A little bit richer, a little bit deeper. This is Lucite, is what it is. But it's really cool because it appears to be cut from a tube because when you look inside, you see the streak marks. And a lot of times that will say, well, it's probably Bakelite, but this doesn't, this doesn't test out, so it's not. But anyway, I love it. This is 60s stuff too. So it gives you some ideas. But you know, 60s is like hippie chick, California, hippie, um, boho, big type. Be boho looks like that. The go-go. Um, go-go boots and twiggy and all that kind loose of stuff. Lucite, which we have the go, loose site. Yeah, yeah. You know, we so, have the so, non-hold, uh, non-drilled. Yeah. Which you can wire up, and we also have the drills. A lot of fun, mix. fun jewelry. So we'll be talking about that at the creative group. So that's what I want to stress is for anybody. So far, the ones that are here that I can see are all they're from, our group. from our group. But there may be others of you guys listening. Because normally when these are over, we see a lot of people who are listening. So, you know, I want to just urge you, please come over. Ask to be let in. Because you have to be asked to be let in. We'll let you in, and you can be with us. And we do use Bisou Boutique stuff to make our things. But, you know what? If you're not in the mood to buy or you just don't need anything or whatever, don't worry about it. Come and join us anyway. And you can participate in the conversation. There's just going to be a lot of stuff that you can participate in and talk about with us. We talk about design style. We're going to be doing a lot of challenges based on decades of joy. So you're going to learn a lot. At the same time, I used to do that in a paid class. Now I'm doing it. Let's do it as challenges because that's where you'll learn even more. Ginger said, "I have this. I have stacked the cheaper bangles, glued them to a plastic base, and yeah, baby waiting pool for the dollhouse." <laughs> there you go. And you know, Ginger loves her miniatures, and she's yeah. good at it. She's good at it. No, yeah. Debbie, I've not started drinking yet. Not till I get home. No, <laughs> off no. the clock. Got, gotta be later. Okay, so here's just one last little thing to the 80s to make you can totally confused. Uh, these were 80s. These are 80s. And they're kind of a lot like uh, Wendy Gell type jewelry. Because Wendy Gell, her jewelry is very definitive of the 80s. And I was uh, terrifically influenced for, by her when I first started out. So are those the ones that you just made for your current? No. Uh, these are from like 1988. Oh, okay. I made them. So you can see they're old, the brass is aged. And they're clips... Because big jewelry like this, a lot of times you gotta do it as. A oh no, clip. your other ones had bling. Yeah, well these the ones here, this we these ones were made about the same time. As you can see, they're assemblage. Mm -hmm. I was just gonna say they're assemblage. assemblage. But there is a necklace to go with this, and I didn't have time to find it right now. But it's a big Mona Lisa necklace. So maybe some of you have seen it because I've shown it before. But it's all assemblage. It's so 80s, it's ridiculous, and it's huge. It's honking. But anyway, so just you know, that gives you some ideas. Uh, about some things what we just finished and what we're going to go into the 60s. We're talking about a lot of 60s stuff. So we're done with that for now. So basically we have loads of fun at the creative group. <laughs> what, what? We have loads we of do. fun. We do. And you know, here's the thing too, is we give a lot of, we give away a lot of presents. Yes. Gifts. You know. And presents. We can't give it to everybody that participates, but usually we have 20, 25 maybe participate, 18. And what I do is I just do the random number thing, and then whoever gets it, gets it, and I send them a nice gift, because I love gifts. And speaking of gifts, speaking of gifts, we'll just move right on in there. <laughs> okay. Speaking oh, yes. of gifts, 
I have a nice gift with purchase that I'm giving away this week, and all you have to have is a $50 order. Mm -hmm. And it this is through Sunday? Uh, believe me, if you can't find $50 worth of stuff you want at my website, you ain't trying. <laughs> And are these through Sunday? Yes, they're okay. through Sunday or as long so as they Sunday. last. And okay. So far this week, I'll be honest with you, it's been a little slow. So I think you're going to get Might one. have a little bit longer? Uh, no, they're going to be done. Oh, they're going to be done. Okay. But I'll do something else with them. But I will give them away. I will give them away. I made a good name. But like with what Brenda said earlier too with these challenges and stuff, it's awesome seeing like how many different directions people go in. Like the styles... So That's why you got to come and join the group if you haven't before. If you haven't been over there for a while, come and see me. Because what these folks did, the last these girls did, the last challenge, I mean, great stuff. They were all, like, completely Be different. Beansy did, like, uh, Molly Ringwald stuff. Yes. Which was so cute. Her was one it? pair of earrings looked, like, almost identical to the ones that yeah, she wore. Yeah, they, 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 they looked, like, pretty in pink. I love that movie. Yeah. And then um, Minus Debbie handles. did Madonna jewelry, and she kicked it let me tell you i mean everybody kicked it. my molly ring word world yeah well we gotta talk name. about what's in here now 16 we're candles never, we're never gonna get 16 candles That's okay <laughs> we have to move on because you'll never get done you'll never get done this is just for instance what's in this bag so you get a bunch of these molly Tara, look you get pearls pearls there's there's some really nice this is really oh, is that? this is a great this is mother of pearl this is vintage and that is a big pearl for me to be giving away, let me tell you what. This is great. All I, of these are great assemblies. Or these are the fat ones that we could use as cabbage oil. Some of them are a little bit like you need to clean them up a little bit because they came out of that warehouse stash that I bought, which was fantastic. And we have buttons out of that stash um, that you can buy. Mix. I think $7.95. I bought it's stupid cheap. a giant one like that, a yeah. mother of pearl one that we so have. So there's a whole bunch of those. Site. This is just one bag, guys. And you're getting it free. And then also, you're getting this chain, which just came in. and got a healthy long length of it. I don't know how much it's here. Probably close to a yard. Three foot, whatever. So, uh, you're getting this, too. You get the little frame mount. So, this is nice. You don't have to buy it. We have this on the website. You can buy this, too. Everything here, you can buy if you want. But you don't have to. If you put it in the way, you can get it for free. So, and then I gave you a little bit of this stuff. I just made this the other week, and it's a really pretty one. I'm going to put it inside of here so it doesn't roll over. There says, I already sent my order. <laughs> she, she already sent her order a few times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dara's stocking up. She is. And we don't mind. <laughs> she wants those pearls, man. But That's this is, happy. I don't know if you can see this. This is the bridal white mix, and it's this is... Uh, it's plastic, but it looks a little better than that. This isn't just yeah, plastic. Let me see if I can take this off and don't roll all the way. Uh, this is beautiful. Know. It's got melon beads in it. It's got frosted beads in it. It's got uh, these little round ones with the AB came from the 1928 factory. I mean, it's just great stuff. And so you're going to get a little bag of that, too. So this, all this stuff, it weighs like three and a half ounces. Fully. Uh, that's all right. I'll catch it. <laughs> About three and a half ounces full of stuff. It went on the floor. Don't worry. I'll put it back in the bag, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> so, uh, I can't I can't reach them. The vacuum will anymore. get it later. No, I'm No, no. <laughs> I'm Brenda Sue will get it down there, and she will get it back in this bag. Because somebody's going to get this bag, and yeah. I don't want them to be disappointed. Colleen says, great gifties. Yep. That's what I do, Colleen. You know that. So, anyway, that's what we have this week. So, if you're in the, if you're in the mood to come along and get something... If you didn't know about this, now you do. I don't have gifties like this every week. I used to a lot, but then I couldn't do it anymore. So I do it as often as I can with new things that have come in or things that I especially love that, um, you know, I can afford to do and be generous. I don't want to give you some ditzy thing. But we do give you, um, with every order, you get savings coupons for your smaller orders, which is nice because most of our coupons now start at like 75 so, but it's nice when you have bought something and you look for those coupons because they're like $3, $5 off of maybe a $35 order, you know. So look for them. That's how you get those. And um, then once in a bit, when I'm able, I give you a, a gift with it too. But, um, yeah, those are nice. I got Tootsie Rolls. We went back to Tootsie Rolls. That was my trade thing. Oh, I'll have to pick that up too. Um, yeah, because everybody tells me wants the Tootsie Rolls. Yeah, trade thing, man. I used to give away so much candy, it was crazy. People were getting cavities. 
But <laughs> anyway, so thank you. Lord. The ladies get the get the bisu parts in the packages, and the husbands get the tootsie rolls. Or a lot of ladies used to tell me my kids knew when they saw bisu fatigues. There's candy in there, yeah. <laughs> you know. So I used to roll the husbands too. But though. those coupons are really worth something too. And once in a while, I do little love notes in them. And what that is, is uh, you have to contact me and maybe I have a special gift just for you. Maybe like a gift certificate of some kind. So you got to watch for this too. So I mean, that's, you know, there's a lot of good reasons. And then too, I teach you for free. So hey. so this is what's going on this week that you can get for free. Till Sunday. Got, through Sunday and we've got plenty of them. So there, enough that. All right. So what I want to talk to you about a little bit before I leave today is um, I hadn't been able. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Michelle, I hadn't been able to get any 1928 back in for a while because the uh, cost of pewter's gone up a little bit. I was still paying off the big brass order that went way higher than it should have. And I uh, just, you know, things are a little slower and stuff, so I had to wait. And I had to think hard, what can I afford to restock? Because we have to pay cash for this stuff. So um, I restocked about 13 styles. And I asked Lauren if she'd pull them for me, but she pulled some of them. So let's let's start with the ones that she pulled that are some of them to kind of remind you of what fun they are to work with. And she's got a lot of old stuff that we were deep on. This is new. This is actually new. I pulled just because they're unique pieces to me. Yeah, but I want to remind them. Of, well, you just let me do something for another one because you know what? <laughs> I want to show them what came back in. You know, but anyways, but anyways, this one is one a lot have liked a lot. I have this at home. Right. I have this on a piece of drawer from 1920. I still have to make my piece, but I have it at home. But anyway, these are 22 karat gold uh, dip over pewter. We use a very high-end planer. That's another reason why stuff like this is, you know, you have to spend a little bit more for it. But, you know, you get what you pay for. And they aren't that high. Because I'll tell you what, I costed them out against stuff that's made in the United States, that's pewter like this, and it's plate gold. And their stuff costs every bit as, more, as much or more. And it does not have the vibe that 1928 has. No way. No way, Jose. So, so 1928 is so unique. They have, uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know, they have 35,000 plus antique molds there. And that's what they work with. And they make new ones all the time. And I'll show you an example of that in a minute. But anyway, so we got these back in. We got them in gold. Hey, Hi, Claire. Claire. So nice to see you. So nice to see you with us. Um, so... We got these in gold, we also got them in silver. I did not buy them deep, as you can see. This is all we got. Now, I'm hoping to build the line back up again. Okay. Um, I know a lot of you have a good bit of it already, but a lot of people don't know about it or they haven't tried it. So, um, orders on this line will help me to build it back up. Mr. Bernie is going to make me a few new ones. We already have them waiting for when there's enough cash to do it. There's one with a kitty. Kitty head and a heart that you can set stones around the edges is precious. He just made it. It's brand new. And then um, I had him look and look and look and look for this heart that has two lovebirds in it and there's a heart stone in the middle. And he claimed he didn't make it for a long time. I says, no, no, you're not right because there's 1928 marks all over the back of it. Oh, this is going looking. You're going to have to find it. It was so hard because all I have is these little casting files. I says, look, buddy, I want this piece. I will buy a hundred right up front. If you just please find it for me. All right. So he found it. And I'm glad. I think he's glad he found it too because he might want to run some for himself. But anyway, it's very, very special. And we're going to get the heart stone with it. So you won't have to go around looking for one that fits there. You're going to get it. Okay. So you could put a pearl in there or you could put the heart. It's going to be up to you, but you will get the heart stone with the purchase of piece. So that's two new pieces I'm, I'm waiting to get made, plus some more repeats of things we have. So I want to build it back up again. I want to get some new things and some of the stuff that we haven't had in a while because this is a wonderful line, and I do not want to lose it. The gold, Hi, the gold is delicious. Yes, it I is. love the gold. It is delicious. It's, it's Wonderful. You'll, you will notice, too, if you're new to this line, we only have the old silver 
and gold right now. I don't have the rusted iron. I'd like to bring that back too, but it wasn't selling fast enough and I just needed to turn it over. So it went to Etsy and if you're looking for it, you may find some in the Beast Boutique's supplies uh, store at Etsy. But um, anywho. And the then that piece, it's not a common cab size. It's a little bit different. Yeah. It's a 14 by yeah. 10. So she went and she looked up some cabs we had. These are pretty. These are Tensha, Japanese Tensha. Which is, they're getting a little harder to get. So, so I, I brought them just so you guys could see because, it, like I said, it is a little bit of an unusual in here. Side, size. So how pretty is that? How pretty mm -hmm. is that? How pretty is that? Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. How beautiful. So I never, they're not expensive either. And these really aren't either. They're and great for spring. Yeah, gold plated anything is just gone. The expensive. stuff I pulled because of the, just with spring. Hey, Joanne. And the warmer weather. Yeah. And I was thinking 60s yeah. and flower power right. with the new challenge. Right, right. So we got this so. back in. We have the silver too. And the silver costs a little bit less because it's not a precious, precious metal finish. Debbie um, says the gold is delicious. It is. It is. It's but so it, rich. It's just, the old pewter, the old silver blends real nice with silver. Where silver cut. Oh, we're about to get some bad weather. I'm gonna have to close. I'm gonna have to finish up. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Thunderstorm, guys. Yeah. That's so anyway, a big boom of thunder. Um, these these are new. I'm gonna tell you about these real quick. We're gonna have to hop off of them. We have these in both the gold and the old silver. Right, right. We have these two. This is new. And I love this great for resin. 40 by 30. And then we didn't have these for a while. And I got back in gold and silver. We got pretty many silver. And uh, I love this. This makes a great pendant. And you can use markers on it. The old silver, you can use markers on it and colorize it. And it works great. It looks beautiful when you do yeah, that. Yeah, I've done that before, yeah. actually, on that also, piece. Also, if you gently work at this, you can bend it so it can go across the top of your wrist. Beautiful. So I wanted to show you so much more, but I'm not going to be able to. I'm so sad I can't because um, some bold wet, some bad bad weather is going. I'm going to have to go look because they did say we might have tornadoes tonight. So I'm going to have to go look. Plus I don't want to get caught cut off of here all of a sudden. Okay. For you. So anyway, I had a quick um, question, Brenna. Yeah. Before we go. Yeah. This piece, because you were saying you could color the silver. Yeah. Could you use our new gilders piece and do like a patina yeah, on yeah, that? Yeah, you could, and we'll have a video on that soon. Yeah, we have 11 colors of gilders paste back in stock, and we are carrying gilders again. So for those of you who've never tried it, I will be showing you that pretty soon, because it's a little different. It's a little bit different. So okay. um, anyway, so yeah. I didn't want to go yet. I wanted to show you this other stuff, but it's just getting concerned. I don't know. Lauren, you want to go out front with Jordan? Real quick and see if there's a warning on. Yeah. Well, she's going to run out and I'll just keep showing you a few things. Jan says that was one of her favorites, by the way. This is my favorite piece of all. And we have it in both colors. We have a lot in old silver. You can colorize this too. It is beautiful when you colorize it. It comes out beautiful. Great. So this one we have a lot of. If you haven't thought about it for a while, that's one to think about. What else is she doing? There was another one. Oh, this one. I'm going to tell you about this and we're going to hop off. This one Mel made for me. He made this one just for me. The mold's got my name on it. And it's got a little Bambi in there and a little fox and other little animals. you got to look at it close. And it's made from a French stamping. It didn't Mel make that specifically uh, for you? He did. He did. So we have a good many of them. And I think they're just one of those things on our website that got forgotten. Mm -hmm. And this, that's why I wanted to pull it. It's and so don't, don't don't forget this because I'm probably not going to have this remade for a long time, if ever. This would be a nice piece to colorize right. to bring out all the detail. Right, it would be, but I'm probably not going to get Let it back unless all of a sudden that. everybody jumps on it or something. But because it's just there, are, I want to move on to some new things and bring some things mm -hmm. back. But this thing is just mm -hmm. amazing. If you, yeah, I mean, you need to see it in person. It's you just, do. It's, if you've but not he's like in the, the brush. Line, if you've not tried the line again, you need to try it. Okay, that's enough of the, uh, the blah, blah, blah. We're going to have to go because Lauren's is yelling here. I'm here for half an hour. You know me, I go on for an hour or so. And that's no, little, warnings. Little so okay. no warnings. No warnings. Yeah, just thunder boomies. Yeah. Good. I don't, you know, 
<laughs> I saw that warning this afternoon. And I'm like, you know what? I'm so glad spring is here, but this happens every time. We start with the tornado warnings. You know, I just hate that. But oh, it is Jan what says it is. she needs one of those. It is what it is. Yeah, everybody. The lamb ones. Everybody does. Everybody does. And, of course, you can use your coupons on oh, it. Oh, Dara says she doesn't remember it Yeah, either. The, there's a lot of stuff you don't remember because she never, see, never seen it. It's not Colleen says she doesn't remember seeing it's it. It's not because you haven't tried. Yeah. You know, all of you guys go over there often. But, as like I say, there's yeah. stuff that gets buried. There's a bunch. And, and there's stuff that's just, it's, it's. So, so, so special. Mm -hmm. You're not going to find this piece anywhere else. No, he made it specifically he for us. He made it for me, and he doesn't run it for himself or anyone else. It's my mold. He gave it to me, which was really nice of him. But, um, yeah, nobody sells beasts from 1928 but us. And it has the, the you know, the typical 1928 back. It does. That you see yeah, that it's, it's, it's squiggly, squiggly. Yeah, let me show you that, too. It's got the squiggly back, which is one of the ways you tell. Mm -hmm. He asked me when he first did them for me, he says, do you want the, the squiggly back or not? I'm like, absolutely. I'm That's like how you know that. it's 1928. You know, it's 1928. So, all right. Yeah, gotta go. Thanks, Chris, for the good wishes, and Michelle, and everybody else. Thanks for tuning in. I'm so glad you came. I'll so, show so you some more stuff you. next week, guys. And we hope some of the ones who didn't talk today um, will come over and visit us. Come join the group, most of all. You're so warmly invited. We really want you to come. We talk about so much fun stuff, and you'll make a lot of good, new, creative friends. Really mm -hmm. so. Thank you, Claire. Okay, we're out of here for today. Thank you so much. You guys are wonderful. And Lauren will have a project for you yeah. again super soon. And okay. thanks for participating in the 80s Challenge. You guys did great, and we hope you participate in the 60s Challenge. Yes, yes. We'll let you know the details. And free too. to join the Super Takes Creative Group. No money. Just come. Okay, just come. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Love